Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. This particular video is a follow-up video. I just did a transformative channel with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Now that was my first trans channel with Freddie, all right? And my second ever channel with him. It was a surprise though, because David Bowie also came in and just spoke a little bit. They both talked about purpose, but didn't really like the word purpose, like what their role is in the afterlife or what they're working on in the afterlife was more, more, um, I think, more in alignment with what they, they kind of talked about a bit. But I wanted you to see this follow up because I have not ever experienced a transformative channel where I did two different people um, in and out, in and out. Uh, aside from Prince. Now, if you've watched my work before, if you check out the playlist with Prince on Above Life channel, you will know that I work with him a lot and sometimes he will bring in someone else or someone else will come in because he negotiates that. And that's okay and I'm fine with that. But I've never done one like this where Freddie Mercury came in and then Freddie was talking about David Bowie and then Bowie showed up and I could see David Bowie and then ask permission to, and then I had to acknowledge, hey, you can come in. And so then they swapped kind of spaces and David came in. So that was unique. But now I have also transformatively channeled David Bowie before too. Again, if you're interested, check out the playlist for David Bowie and you can see channeling with David Bowie. Now, transformative channeling is different and it affects me differently. Now I've been practicing it for, geez, over a year now. It's probably been, has it been a year and a half? How long has it been? It's been at least a year that I've been doing it. Cause see now I'm recording this particular video, I think in November. And I think I started last year in like August in 2017 doing it. I'm um, not publicly, just privately. And why did I start doing transformative channeling? Well, because I wanted to increase my abilities as a psychic and as a medium. I believe in personal growth and I have been a psychic, an intuitive, a psychic coach, a medium for over 14 years. And so I want to keep evolving and growing. And the way to do that is to stretch yourself, to set new goals, to try new things. And so I, I created this unique form of channeling, trance channeling, not trance like I'm unconscious and someone comes into my body and speaks, but trance as in T-R-A-N-S dash, which trance channeling stands for transformative channeling because I wanted to bring the energy of the person, the former person, in so that you can feel the energy. My goal is to have you to get so, if I get so good at this, you will feel the spirit. Every time I channel and I do a transformative channel that you will feel the spirit. That's what I want. I want that. I want you to have the experience for you. And I just want to help facilitate it and host it, right? That's what I want. And I got to believe it's possible. And so with experiences like this, oh, definitely new territory for me. I hope that you can begin to understand that you yourself are a channel and that you you can connect as well. Me, you might not do it the way I do it, and that's fine because guess what? We are totally different people. We have different interests, we have different skills, we have different, different communication styles, quite frankly. And so don't compare, just know that it's possible for you. So this follow-up, I wanted to share how I feel. So I'm coming out of it, it took a lot more for me to come out of it than before. Um, when I stood up, I felt fine. I didn't feel dizzy or anything, but I kind of felt like I had sinus pressure in my head or like I take, uh, I took cold medicine or something. You know, when you take cold medicine, you kind of feel weird. Your head feels a little weird, a little funny. That's how it felt. Then I grabbed some tea, talked to my husband for a little bit and trying to get to get my bearings in human life, walked around the kitchen a little bit. And then all of a sudden I could feel like a headache and it's kind of like a third eye headache. I used to, like when I first started doing psychic work, you guys, I would do groups, which is crazy. That's a lot of overwhelming energy when you first start doing psychic work as a medium to do groups of people, big gallery readings, crazy, I know, but I didn't know any, I didn't know any better. But when I first used to do those, I would get these like incredible headaches that were like ice cream headaches, 
you know, when you eat something too cold and you're, uh, it just gets you. It's like that, but I call them third eye headaches. Third eye is this place in between, um, in your middle of your forehead, which is this window. It, it's like a, um, a doorway or a portal. It's vision, clairvoyance channel, third eye. It's sight, psychic sight. And so I was using it all the time and, and it would just create this kind of pressure in my head. And it felt like a third eye, a third eye headache felt like an ice cream headache. So for just a moment, like maybe like three minutes, I could feel this piercing and I was like, oh no, I don't want a headache <laughs> after doing the channel. That's like so back in the old and elementary school days for me of psychic work. So I'm like, oh no, 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 that we're not going to have that. So then when I did, was just instinctively, I opened up the back of the third eye. The front is here. The back is actually here at the base of your, your the neck here, right here in the back, right here where it kind of gets sore sometimes for you or when the massage therapist kind of pokes up there and oh, it feels so darn good. So I instantly open it up. So I imagine like that there's a little, a spigot. I just open it up and then shh, it comes out. Water comes out or the energy comes out. So I don't keep all these because all these visual images and all this energy in my mind and try to process it with my mind to translate the psychic information that I see, the images, the imagery into tangible form to describe it to you, like I'm doing right now, kind of a thing, you know? It's, 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 it's so much and, and I know that I need to release that energy, you know? I need to let it just flow. And so that's what I did, just shh, not perfect right now, but I've done a total of three, did I do it? Yeah, three transformative channels in one day. And that's a, kind of a lot actually. So I got to get my uh, psychic muscles pumped up to do more, more of those style, those style conversations in the future here at Above Life Channel. I hope that this um, experience that we've shared here today has inspired your spirit. And I hope it has filled you up with hope. Remember, the purpose here at Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit so that you can live your life. I mean, really live it. This, this is your life. No, it doesn't matter who we're talking to. It doesn't matter who we're channeling. It doesn't matter what famous celebrity is coming by to give us these great insights. The point is, is this is your life. So utilize those insights to inspire you to live it. Just, just live it. This is Bridget. Thank you so much for watching.